Child's Head of Africa programmes. Street Child is a child-centred organisation working across 14 countries in Africa and Asia and we implement exclusively through a network of around 80 national agencies and local actors. It's a core organisational goal to champion and empower local actors and so this initiative to promote localisation through the child protection coordination mechanism together with the CPAOR and Save the Children was very exciting to Street Child. Clusters at the national and subnational level are so well placed to support local actors. As a humanitarian coordination mechanism, they can be one of the most accessible groups for local actors and one of the most likely to include national actors in their membership. But their potential to include and support national actors remains often untapped. The Street Child have been working in Afghanistan, Bangladesh, DR Congo and Nigeria with the CP subsectors to identify practical, speedy pathways to advance localization within each different context. We focused in this project on promoting local partners to take roles of responsibility and coordination at all levels. You'll hear from our partners Joyce and Sarah in Nigeria, where Grow Strong Foundation was supported to step up and take the CP co-coordinator role. But we also worked at the subnational level in DRC and Bangladesh, for example, right down to establishing community focal points in Cox's Bazaar. Street Child particularly focused on funding for local partners as part of our commitment to the Grand Bargain and set up proposal help desks following all of our resource mobilisation work to train the partners in each country. Following the onset of COVID-19, we noted the near total lack of funding for our frontline local actors. And so we set up proposal based rapid response funds in each country to kickstart responses that were later scaled up through other funding sources. Such localization initiatives are the first of their kind and we believe have great potential for replication within other clusters and other countries. We look forward to sharing lessons and answering questions at our panel session at the general meeting. Thank you. My name is Sarah John Gima. I am the CPSS NGO co-lead based at Grow Strong Foundation, and I'm giving support to the coordination of the child protection subsector here in Northeast Nigeria. My name is Joyce Mutiso, and I am the child protection subsector coordinator in Northeast Nigeria. The humanitarian response in Northeast Nigeria is a sub-national response that covers the conflict-affected states of Adamawa, Bono, and Yobe. In 2019, the subsector developed a strategy note which highlighted the gains that have been made towards the achievement of the localization agenda, identified continuing challenges to achieving localization, and proposed approaches for advancing the localization agenda for the subsector in Northeast Nigeria. More importantly, the strategy note outlined how progress on localization would be measured and evaluated. As part of the implementation of this strategy, a selection process for the national NGO co-lead was done through a competitive process overseen by the strategic advisory group of the subsector. Following the selection of Grow Strong Foundation as the NGO co-lead, a competitive recruitment process was conducted and Sarah John Gima emerged as a successful candidate. Since taking up my position as the NGO co-lead for the subsector, I've had coaching and mentoring section on a weekly basis from the child protection subsector coordinator and the child protection AOR senior localization specialist. This has built my technical knowledge on child protection and coordination skills. Because of this, I have guided the national NGOs at the field level to ensure that service delivery is driven by the subsector strategies and also the child protection minimum standards. This has included um, my field visit to assess activities of organizations wishing to join the child protection subsector based on the terms of reference of the CPSS. I have also contributed to the elimination of the duplication of service delivery through supporting service mapping and development of referral pathways. I have also supported the strengthening of the child protection coordination mechanisms at local administrative units. And recently, I co-coordinated the development of an interagency proposal submission by the CPSS national NGOs for the CPMS Innovation Fund. 
the submission was geared at enhancing the implementation of CPMS through cross-sectoral approaches within the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. The subsector adapted the localization approach to support national NGOs to continue delivering child protection services through provision of personal protective equipment, publication of visual communication materials on protecting children within the COVID-19 context, and by providing subgrants to selected national NGOs to implement child protection services within the context of the pandemic.